The Special's lead singer Terry Hall has died at the age of 63, his bandmates confirmed. A brief illness led to the death of Hall, who was also a former member of Fun Boy 3 and The Colorfield. It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of Terry, our beautiful friend, brother, and one of the most brilliant singers, songwriters, and lyricists this country has produced. Terry was a wonderful husband and father and one of the kindest, funniest, and most genuine souls I have ever known. He captured the essence of life in his music and performances. The joy, the pain, the humor, the fight for justice, but mostly the love. He will be deeply missed by all who knew and loved him and leaves behind the gift of his remarkable music and profound humanity. Terry often left the stage at the end of the special's life affirming shows with three words, love, love, love. Please respect the family's privacy at this very sad time. Jerry Dammers, Linville Golding and Horace Panter formed the specials in Hall's hometown of Coventry in 1977, followed a year later by Hall, Neville Staple, Roddy Byers and John Bradbury. The band were originally called The Automatics, before changing their name to The Coventry Automatics, The Specials aka The Automatics and finally, in 1978, settling on The Specials. The band made a name with their ska and rocksteady style, and for providing a musical backdrop to economic recession, urban decay and societal fracture in the early 1980s. The Specials released a number of hits during their time together, including A Message to You, Rudy, Rat Race, and Ghost Town. After the band split in 1981, Hall, Golding and Staple formed Fun Boy 3, while Dammers and Bradbury released The Special AKA, which produced the hit single Free Nelson Mandela. Fun Boy 3 achieved four UK top 10 singles during their time together, until Hall left the band in 1983 to form the color field with ex-Swinging Cats members Toby Lyons and Carl Shale. Having worked on a variety of solo and collaborative projects, including working with Lily Allen, Hall announced in 2008 that the specials would be reforming for upcoming tour dates. In September that year, Hall and five members of the band performed at Bestival Music Festival under the name Very Special Guests. According to him, the performance at Bestival was a trial run. Having an unannounced slot allowed us to just show up, nameless. Perfect. In 2009, the specials celebrated their 30th anniversary with a tour, and in 2018, they supported the Rolling Stones. In February 2019, the specials released Encore, their first album of new material in 37 years. Upon release, the album went straight to number one on the official UK album chart, marking their first number one album, and the first time they had topped the charts since their classic track Ghost Town in 1981 and since their single Too Much Too Young became a number one in 1980. A few fans considered the album's lead single, Vote For Me, as a follow-up to Ghost Town which was hailed as a piece of social commentary during the 1981 riots in England. Despite listening to politicians give their opinions and thinking nightly, Hall told The Big Issue magazine in 2019, I don't necessarily trust any of you. <laughs>